Nick Saban and Pat McAfee dropped some NIL bombs today on the Pat McAfee Show. Stay tuned, West Virginia fans. You don't want to miss this. This is for Cameron. Tim What is up, guys? Welcome back in. My name is Mountaineer Paul. This is another edition of Mountaineer Paul Talks Football. I'm in the middle of transitioning this show. You know, feed has been given. I'm just waiting on them to go ahead to basically start doing the shows for Locked On West Virginia. So stay tuned for that. I'm continuing to pump out content because the news is coming and it's coming fast. Today, another bomb has been dropped. Huge, 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 guys, huge. I was so excited to hear this. I can't do it justice. You got to hear it from Pat McAfee first. But before we do that, we're going to honor the, the channel sponsor for this video. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Shine, Auto Spa and Tent, and Morgantown, West Virginia. At Magic Shine, your vehicle's care is their top priority. They use only the highest quality products to ensure your car not only looks its best, but is also protected and maintained with the utmost care. From window tinting with top-of-the-line Max Pro Tint to protective ceramic coatings from Diamond Pro Tint, they've got you covered. Drive in today and experience the difference at Magic Shine Auto Spawn Tent, where your car shines like new. Shine on, Morgantown. Nick Saban and Pat McAfee were talking about the West Virginia NIL situation, and this is what they had to say. West Virginia is about to run the table. Your thoughts as a West Virginia man? Look, I'm a mountaineer. <laughs> That's where I grew up. Yeah, we Hell, know. I have a tremendous amount of respect for the fact that you played there. Hell yeah. I coached there. Yeah. And I love my state. But their program has not been able to sort of sustain the kind of success that they've had in the past. And hopefully they'll get back to having that kind of success in the future, especially with your impact on name, image, and likeness. Name. Program, the program, Amen. the program is just hop, 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 hop. Good work over there, Trad Man. Okay, so for me, there's a lot to read into on this. There's a caption on here that's from Pat McAfee that says, "I'm a mountaineer and I love my state." Hopefully that program will get back to having success, which is a Nick Saban quote. For me, I think this is this is strategic. Um, they would be talking about his impact on NIL if there wasn't something going on there. When it was unveiled, Pat McAfee was one of the faces of it. And I don't know what happened with that. He, he hasn't been super involved with the NIL, at least that we know publicly. But I reached out to somebody that would know. Uh, just to check because, I, I, you know, this really sparked my interest. I, I felt like there was more here than I feel like this is a strategic post from Pat McAfee. He's come to one event if you count the spring game, and number two is going to be this coming Friday, which is a week from today, right? He's going to be at another event. And so there's been this slow filter back into the program for Pat McAfee. And – Although we don't have a commitment from Nick Saban, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but I do think it's going to happen with Pat. I, I don't know in what way, shape, form, or capacity. But he, if you get him involved with the program back again on some level, he's the kind of guy that's just – he's not going to not be involved. And so I think this is a huge thing. I think it's potentially one of the biggest things that could happen for us because Pat McAfee is cool in a lot of people's eyes. A lot of people are annoyed by him. I get it. But for the most part, people want to be around him. You know, he's in the place that he's in for a reason because he's extremely charismatic. And if you add him to the football program, uh, let's say recruits are, are meeting him or transfer portal people are meeting him or – he financially, he's helping the program. You know, he's capable of giving a lot of money, getting a lot of money to the program. He's capable of raising it. He's capable of giving it. He's capable of fighting for the program publicly. Like, there's a lot. And I don't know how far he's willing to go on some of that stuff, but I'll say this the fact that they're talking about it openly and the way Nick Saban said that to me, listen to how he says it. So it, it's, 
especially with your impact on name, image, and likeness. Like it's something they spoke about, right? Nick Saban knows about it coming in, you know? So I feel like that's a good thing. You know, I don't think he was trying to rib him in the moment. I don't think he was, you know, trying to say, Hey, you need to get involved here. I, I do think he is, you know, this is a cover. This is a conversation that they've already had. And for me, uh, it's huge. You know, this involvement with McAfee the last couple of days has just been like, as big as it can get for us. Before we react anymore, guys, I got a question for you. Do you want two free tickets to the Penn State game? They are free. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to come to at Paul Mountaineer on X, Mountaineer Paul. You're going to click on this. I, I, this is my last post. It says, holy cow, two free Penn State tickets. Click the link below to find out how. It's free. And you're going to click this Facebook link right here, Magic Shine Auto Spa. And it's going to take you to Magic Shine Auto Spa's Facebook. And although I don't have Facebook on this uh, browser or on this laptop, all you're going to have to do is, but back to the McAfee, Nick Saban situation. I'm curious how some of you guys feel. Do me a favor and interact with me on this. Like the video, first of all. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And then drop a comment. Let me know how you feel about Saban and McAfee possibly being involved in our NIL situation. I don't think Saban's going to be, just for the record. But it's possible. He may do something under the radar uh, that we don't know about, you know, uh, because everything they do on that show is pretty strategic from, uh, for, you know, these little clips that they release are very strategic and they want to get information across. That's the point. Right. And you, and you do it in these 60 minutes uh, or 60 second segments so that you can get a certain topic across. Right. Uh, and they release a lot of them because they like they talk about a lot of important stuff. They have a lot of different agendas talk to try to get out to a lot of different people. Two days in a row, the West Virginia crowd has been a big piece of that, right? We're huge on on Facebook. We're huge on X especially. And I didn't repost this because I want you to see it here first. But definitely go reinteract with that. Let McAfee know that we're, we're happy to see that he is doing these kind of things. But from an, on, an, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is 11 uh, if he's getting involved that deeply with our NIL. So... I really think this program stands to benefit just like on another level, really. I, it's, I don't even know if we know the ramifications of it. Like this could save our program in some ways, you know, and people are going to say I'm overreacting to this and that's fine. But it could happen, right? If Pat McAfee wanted to single-handedly, if he put his mind to it, to save this program, like what I mean by that is if it comes down to a 50-team league, we're going to need some heavy hitters in our corner, and Pat McAfee would be one of the first per people I would call for that. So I'm always thinking about that future, that inevitable time when it comes to that's going to happen at some point in time, that where there's going to be a line in the sand and are you in or are you out. So I'm always thinking forward and ahead to that, and you should be too, you know, because it's our state, guys. It's our program with you. I like how they, they do that. And, you know, if we're not thinking about the future then, and, and we're not realizing this has happened in the past, that, that those that forget the past are doomed to repeat it, that whole thing. So let's get involved. However you can help spread awareness about the West Virginia program, support the West Virginia program and whatever, you know, through NIL if you can. Um, and keep coming back here, guys. I'll just be locked on West Virginia any day now. Um, I expected it to be today, but – it's going to happen. I know you guys have been hearing me say it for days now, but, you know, at the end of the day, I have to keep producing content. So we're going to keep doing it, you know. Hope you enjoyed the video, though. Big news today. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'm out. This is for Cameron. Thank you.